हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल माई लविंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिसिज रश्मि वाजपेई योर साइंस टीचर विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद लेसन नंबर वन ऑफ एथ स्टैंडर्ड एंड डेट इज क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट सो आई बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द टॉपिक एंड यू ऑल नो दैट आई ऑलवेज गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस नॉलेज ऑफ द टॉपिक सो स्टूडेंट्स यू आर क्वाइट अवेयर दैट ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म रिक्वायर फूड राइट द मेन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स so all of them need food plants can prepare their own food through the process of photosynthesis however animals cannot make their own food and are thus directly or indirectly dependent on plants for their food requirements so where do these animals get the food from the answer to this question will be there in this entire lesson what are the practices that you do or the farmer undertakes so that you get your food requirements satisfied what are the tools that are used everything will be answered in this lesson but before that first of all why do we even need food right we are studying that how do animals get the food but why the food is necessary you all already know that energy from the food is utilized by the organisms for carry out, carrying out various life processes like digestion respiration excretion reproduction all the life uh, what we can say life processes need energy and this energy comes from food so food is the ultimate source of energy and therefore we all need food so in this lesson how the food is being produced how do we get the food available to us that we will be studying throughout this lesson we start with agricultural practices we start as we are going to start with the first definition and that is crop when plants of the same kind are cultivated at one place on a large scale it is called crop now students if i talk about whatsoever small area but that particular area is having the same kind of crop same kind of crop means of same category if i say a wheat field or a rice field so in that field there will be for certain extent there will be only rice or only wheat grown in that area and that time we say this this is a rice crop or a wheat crop now india is a vast country and there are various climatic conditions that are existing in india right from if i say top we have himalayas which are having extreme cold climate and there are rajasthan there is rajasthan and north eastern state so there is a diversity in the climatic condition and the plants grow according to their need and requirements different crops have different climatic condition that uh, requirements and therefore we have a variety of crops growing throughout our country the main climatic conditions that affect the crop growth is temperature humidity and rainfall some crops might need high temperature whereas some might need low temperatures for their growth some might need cool area humidity refers to the presence of moisture in the air dry arid region might not be suitable so for the crops which are needing high humidity and vice versa rainfall definitely is a major factor as it is concerned with water and based on the rainfall we have different types of crops growing in different areas of the country in spite of all this we have divided uh, in our country we have two major cropping pattern despite the diversity that exists in india we have two major cropping patterns these are kharif crops and rabi crops So students the crops which are sown in the rainy season are called as kharif crops whereas the crops that grow in winter season are called as rabi crops in india kharif crops if we say it extends the uh, season will be extending from june to september as in india the rainy season extends from june to september the rabi crops refers to the crops grown in october till march because we experience winter from october to march 
you also need to know which are the crops that are called kharif crops or rabi crops because it can come as name the following match the pair answer the following so which are the kharif crops they are paddy maize soya bean groundnut cotton rabi crops are wheat gram pea mustard and linseed also besides this pulses and vegetables are grown during summer at many places so we start with the basic practices of crop production we come to the definition of agricultural practices students you all know that farmers have to take a lot much of efforts in growing the crop so any activity that the farmer undertakes for growing the crop starting for make starting from making the soil even till cutting the crops and storing the crop all these activities that the farmer undertakes all the procedures and the steps that the farmer undertakes for the process of growing the crop is called as agricultural practices let us go for the definition cultivation of crop requires undertaking of several activities over a period of time by the farmer these activities are referred to as agricultural practices so they are listed below one is preparation of soil sowing okay adding manure and fertilizer irrigation protecting from weeds harvesting and storage students each and every point and listed here will be studying in detail throughout the lesson and then only the lesson will end but a quick introduction to each topic now you will wonder what is the meaning of word preparation of soil students soil do needs preparation soil might have crumbs soil soil might be crumbled up it might be there might be lumps in it and you need to break those that lumps using various implements this breaking up and then you might you have to use leveler to level it up so that the soil becomes even there should be proper space in the soil for providing the roots to penetrate deep inside for providing the roots to breathe for oxygen to enter into the soil so the major one of the major step is preparation of soil after that if i say sowing sowing refers to putting the seed inside the ground for the purpose of germination so here in sowing also you might have different procedures different steps or different techniques rather and the implements that can be used for sowing the seed and we will be studying that in this lesson adding manure and fertilizer the word manure and fertilizer you are quite aware of manure and fertilizer both serve the purpose of providing nutrient to the soil soil has so main nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium which the crop needs and crop will be absorbing the nutrients from the soil through the roots however if you are growing a crop continuously simul uh, for suppose 3 years 4 years 5 years at a particular point there might come a time that the soil is deficient or might be extinct of necessary nutrient so where do the nutrient come from then for this purpose you will be adding manure you will be adding fertilizer to the soil only the major difference between manure and fertilizer here is manure are natural source of nutrients whereas fertilizers are man made source manure are naturally available fertilizers are made by human beings into the factories next one is irrigation students irrigation is the way uh, of making water available to the crop okay water you know is one of the major raw material for the process of photosynthesis for food preparation in plant and this water is made available through the process of irrigation and there are various sources of irrigation if i say it can be water can be made available through a dam through a river through a lake or a pond doesn't matter but these are the different sources of irrigation irrigation by word irrigation it means that you have to provide water to the crop next is protecting from weeds weeds are nothing but unwanted plants if i say 
crop of wheat is to be grown that means in that field you have to have only wheat but there are certain competitive crops that will grow along with wheat and that will utilize the nutrient from the soil and thus not make it sufficiently available to the crop for this purpose it is necessary to remove the weed or just protect from weeds the crops you can you can add weedicides some kinds of chemical to protect it or you can uproot it it depends on the farmer's choice the next step is harvesting the crops once the crop is full fledged it is grown it is also necessary definitely necessary to cut the crops okay the process of cutting the crops uh, on time is called as harvesting after harvesting you need to store it properly right there are tons of crops grown and you cannot just store it here by anywhere right you need to expose it to the sunlight you might have to add certain insecticides or neem leaves various materials or chemicals so that it stays for a longer duration to so storage of crop is the final step and it is very much necessary fact agricultural practice i said that we will be studying each and every agricultural practice in detail so we first begin with preparation of soil so students preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop and it is one of the most important task in agriculture it refers to turning the soil and loosening it up why do we do that because it allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil it also allows the root to breathe it allows breathing of roots it allows entry of oxygen into the soil and thus the root can breathe it helps in the growth of microbes and earthworm these organisms are the friends of the farmer as they further turn and loosen the soil also they add humus to the soil we have studied in seventh standard humus is a black dark colored uh, granular substance material which is formed from dead and decaying matter of, okay after the microbes act on dead decaying matter the material the powdery material that you get is called as humus and it is very much rich in nutrients so this microbes which are there in the soil after loosening it up it helps the microbes and earthworms to work and it also helps in humus formation but why the soil needs to be turned and loosened is a question see students you have already learned that soil contains minerals it contains water air and also some small small living organisms are there in the soil it in addition the dead plants and animals get decomposed by soil organisms so in this way various nutrients in the dead organisms are released back into the soil and makes the soil very much rich in nutrients but only a few centimeters of the top layer of soil supports plant growth and this everything is available quite deeper so when you turn it up when you loosen the soil and when you turn it up so this nutrient rich soil will come to the top and thus the plant can utilize it and can grow effectively now in the same sub topic that is preparation of soil a important definition is tilling tilling is nothing but the process of loosening of soil is called as tilling or we also call it as plowing so plowing as the word goes plowing is or tilling is done with the help of plow plow can be made up of wood or it can be made up of iron now plows help in what we can say mixing water with the soil if the soil is too dry it helps in breaking the crumbs in the soil if the soil is having clumps it need to be broken into fine particles and after it is broken into fine particles it is the soil becomes even in texture and then you can just level up the soil using a leveler so students it is quite enough for today we have started with first lesson that is crop production and management 
of which we have studied the definition of crop what is the meaning and definition of agricultural practices various steps or various procedures in the agricultural practices starting from preparation of soil till storage we had a brief introduction to it and i also mentioned that each and every sub topic of agricultural practices you will be studying in detail throughout the lesson of which we have already completed agricultural practices the first point and that is preparation of soil so meet you soon in my next powerpoint presentation till that please study at home